All right, good morning. Welcome to the 79th International Atlantic Economic Conference, and welcome to Milan. Though the Society has met many times in Italy before, this is our first time to meet in Milan, and I think you'll probably all agree it's a great city. Uh, for those in the audience that I've not had the pleasure of meeting yet, uh, my name is Catherine Virgo. I'm the Society's Executive Vice President and also the Program Chair of these meetings. My late husband, John, was the founder of the Society. He founded it over 40 years ago and as well founded the Atlantic Economic Journal and International Advances in Economic Research. He founded the Society to increase communication across the Atlantic because he felt at that time there really was not much communication. There was no internet at the time. Um, the goal was to uh, offer a variety of venues for communication, uh, to encourage members from all areas of economics without regard to discipline. Approximately 300 people are on the program here in Milan from over 30 different countries, uh, both new as well as emerging nations and old countries. Uh, hopefully our discussions uh, here at these meetings will uh, bring us closer to solving some of the economic challenges in the various countries. I'd like to thank all the people that had helped to uh, make this program a success this year. Uh, if you look at on page six of your program, you'll see the names of all the program committee members. Um, they've all worked very hard in organizing sessions. We have a wide variety of exciting topics on the program. Uh, some of the highlights of this meeting uh, begins with today's plenary panel entitled The Future of Europe and the Euro, and you'll hear that in just a few moments. Uh, this afternoon, we have the Robert Mundell Distinguished Address to be presented by Mario Monti, former Prime Minister of Italy, uh, on the topic of European policy divergences in Europe and their cultural roots. Then later on this afternoon, we have the presidential address by Charles Calamiris, thinking historically about banking crisis and bailouts. And then tomorrow, we have more invited addresses. Uh, Luigi Zingales will be speaking on diagnosing the Italian disease. And former president Vaclav Klaus will be speaking on looking at Europe and its stagnating economy from Prague. And then finally on Saturday, we have another plenary panel organized by our president, Charles Calamiris, on the European banking crisis. There are two other items that I'd like to point out quickly uh, in your program. So if you'd look at the back cover of your program, you'll see there's an ad for our upcoming conference in Boston, and that will be over Columbus Day weekend in October, October 8th through the 11th. The abstract submission for that conference opens in just a few days on March the 15th, and it closes on April the 30th. Uh, we will be accepting late submissions, but there's always a higher submission fee, so definitely submit early. Uh, it's better. Uh, the conference headquarters will be the Omni Parker House Hotel, and that is the hotel we used before. Then finally, on the inside back cover, so if you just flip that over, you'll see the ad for our Lisbon conference, and that's where we will be in March of next year, March 16th through the 19th. So be certain to mark your calendars for those important events. So the staff of the Atlantic Economic Society hopes that you enjoy the conference. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And without further ado, I will introduce the organizer of this morning's illustrious panel. So Gordon Brady is the former senior economist of the Joint Economic Committee of the U.S. Senate. He's currently a member of the IAES Executive Committee, and he's a longtime board member of the Atlantic Economic Journal. And though not based here in Milan, Gordon single-handedly served as our local organizing committee. He's responsible for successfully recruiting many of our invited speakers, as well as uh, many of those who are in attendance here in our audience. So, Gordon, if you will now do the honors of taking over from here. There we go. Uh, thank you, Kathy. That was a grand introduction for me. I'm very, uh, I'm very humble uh, in the presence of Kathy and, and Charles Calamaris, our, our new president, and our illustrious uh, panel over here. Uh, these, uh, good enough, yes. First... Professor Mario Monti is, excuse me, Professor Mario Baldessari is going to speak. Um, I met him uh, uh, about three years ago at the home of the uh, Italian ambassador to the U.S. I listened to his presentation 
and I had uh, studied his, uh, his publications uh, extensively, and so I had a question for him. I blew it, though, by uh, mispronouncing his name. This is what he did when I mispronounced his name. So, uh, But he's, a, he's a, very, a very forgiving man, and he doesn't, uh, doesn't chastise you for long. Just a few basic points about Professor Baldessari. He is an extre extremely prominent Italian economist with an equally extensive resume in politics. He has over 500 articles in newspapers. He has a political resume, which includes serving as senator uh, from 2006 to 2013, and also holding the position of vice minister of economy and finance under uh, Prime Minister Berlusconi. Uh, he received his undergraduate degree from the University of Ancona in 1969, in 1977, he completed his Ph.D. at uh, MIT, where he was a student of not one Nobel laureate, but three Nobel laureates, uh, Franco Medigliani, uh, Robert Solo, and Paul Samuelson. Uh, he has a distinguished uh, teaching career, which includes time uh, at Bologna, Torino, Catholic University in Milano, and currently Sapienza at the University of Rome. Uh, he is also uh, the president of Centro Studi, uh, economica, 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 uh, reale, where uh, he continues to write and teach, uh, building on his extensive uh, resume of, of 10 scientific books, editor of 22 books in the series Revista di Politica Economica, where he is known as the sole and the indefatigable driving force of RPE. He's been editor of over 50 books. Uh, in the Paul Grave uh, Central Issues and Contemporary Economic Theory and Policy uh, series. He's authored more than 50 scientific articles in professional journals. He is uh, going to talk about today, will the 21st century be the end of Western leadership and power? Is the Europe over or will it be the U.S.? And I assume by that the United States of Europe. So without further ado, I welcome Professor Baldessari. Uh, 